put the uh, remaining boards on and I've got probably a sixteenth on both sides that needs to be removed. The problem is, is it consistent enough to take it and rip it off the, on the table saw? I think I will do the top edge for sure. And bring them back and put them on. Just sneak up on this cut to get it just proud and then I'll finish it with the table saw or the uh, a hand plane. So I'll do that. I'll do this side first. But before I do that, let me just lay this down. Now you can see the pocket that I've formed here for the legs once these get glued on. And then you can see maybe here too the lip I have on the bottom side. So let me do that. I'm going to I'm going to try it because this one here especially has got grain going this way and then it switches and goes the other way. So I don't want to have any tear out right there. I'll try and get this as close as I can. So this one comes off. And before I do that fit. Well, I decided to do it on the joiner. It didn't take much at all. Uh, about three passes on the top side. And half a dozen on the bottom, and we are we are flush on the bottom. On the top, I I'd say that's just a few thousandths of an inch. Nothing that a little sandpaper won't take care of. Yeah, that I could risk taking this bottom one and doing it one more time. On the top side, the bottom is flush, but I'm not going to risk it. I'll take, I'll take and hit that with a hand plane or some sandpaper. I'll get that done. Okay, these are good to go. I like the fit, and I will glue them on. Right, it's been a good hour. I'm going to take these clamps off. I've milled up a couple of boards for the legs. I milled up three. I got an extra one over there. These are the two I like best. They're just a thirty thousandths over four inches. So they'll sit in here. And I figured that I've got a, a expansion this way. Yeah. With these. So I can make these right out to the edge. I'm going to make them 12 and 
three eighths, and that'll fit pretty close to flat out snug. Yep. So what I need is two pieces or four pieces. Yeah, what was I thinking? I don't have enough boards here. Four pieces, 12 and let's just call it 12 and a half, so 25, 50. I can get three out of this, four, and then I need uh, 18 uh, minus three, 15. One, two, five, I'm gonna need this, I'm gonna need this board. It's a good thing I made it. I'm gonna need this one. So I'll be able to get my eight pieces out of these three boards. First things first, I gotta flush this up. That end is flush right at the end. They're nice thin shavings, but they just stick to you. Okay, I think I can go maybe one pass here. I hope I can do it in one. Okay, now the other side is not going to take much at all. Alright, I've got a layout line. I'm going to cut as high as I can. See where I am after that before I flip it. I might just finish it with a handsaw and hand plane it flush. But let's see how this goes here.
consistent. I think if I come over just a smidge and get it closer, I'll be good. I'll be happier. Because I had, you know, pretty square end down there. Still a little work to do, but I'm happy with that. Nothing a little hand plane won't take care of. This is, I've only spent about five minutes on this and I'm nearly done. And I think this is the worst end if I'm, if I'm right. And I can still see this line here and I want to get rid of that. translate through the paint more than is just flush and smooth as can be. but it is flush and the saw line is gone and it is a beautiful finish. Alright, I got the uh, pieces cut to size. I ended up with one extra piece and this, I'm getting rid of this one because it just didn't quite clean up. But if I do get in a pinch, I could use that. But these sit in here just nice as can be. A little way in a room, old ways. And my uh, holes are located centered. And then two inches from each end. So these are just over four inches. So two inches by two inches. Fill a couple holes and see if they made up. Alright, hole one is a success. That is right on the money. I drilled the hole uh, a 64th oversize to just give me a little wiggle room and it's perfect. Uh, and it's, I have uh, the same results down the other end as well. Now when I flip this board, I've got my reference edge here, end for end. And I put that in there and look down this hole. In order for this one to line up, I've got to go probably an eighth of an inch in that direction. So the board that had my mark on it well here I've got a stop set up on my drill press. I'm gonna Take this to my drill press, uh, register it, it was registered this way, my fence was here. I'll flip it and bring that stop that direction about an eighth of an inch and drill my next hole. Well, good news and bad news, I can get it started. But it is really snug. Well, I think what I'm going to do is 
Take this one, one. Ooh, that was close to the old toe. Take this one, one drill bit larger. Let's see how it spins. this would look like if I put this together uh, without using the box joint, just using a butt joint and my length would be 17 inches plus 3 so I'd be 20 inches off the floor. I designed this to be 18 inches off the floor and basically if I used a box joint um, my, my length would be 14 and 3 quarter plus 3 or 17 and 3 quarter off the floor. Now I want it to be about 18. So instead of using the original joint, box joint that I was going to use, which shrinks everything down to this length, uh, very good joint, I'm going to use uh, mortise and tenon. And basically what that allows me to do is control the length of this whole piece by uh, changing the depth of the uh, tenon. So uh, I'm going to use about a three quarter inch tenon which will give me an extra half an inch of height and get me in that 18 inch range where I want to be. 17 and 3 quarters is very close, but I want to be just a little bit higher. So that's how I'm going to adjust the height of this thing. Um, and the reason I ended up with these uh, boards that are just a hair short is because the length of my uh, stock would not allow me to get three 18 inch, piece, 18 inch pieces, but it would allow me to get three 17 and 3 quarter pieces. So that was the reason for that. Now here's the other thing I'm looking at. When I go to make this joint, and I'm going to use my shape or origin, you can see these dots I put here. And that's how I'm going to end up registering these uh, pieces when I cut my joints. So the, the, the uh, design, the software design that I made to, to cut this is it is symmetrical but these pieces are not perfect. You know these are not perfectly one inch by four inch. They're a hair over in each direction. So if I but if I register off of the same corner each time they should go together perfectly. So that's so there's a dot here and that's going there. And this dot, you have to imagine if there was a pin right there and a pin here, pin hole. That's where they would sit together. Perfectly meshed at this corner and this one back here. Okay, down here and down here. So I've got them all marked with dots. I will go through here and mark, you know, uh, ones, twos, threes, fours, A, B, C, D to keep the two pieces separated because this piece has to be oriented in this direction as well. This one cannot be flipped. So this has to be up. Same with this one. So let me get everything set up, but I just wanted to try and explain as best I could how, how I'm going to make this joint and hopefully make it work and get a little more length out of a short board uh, by changing the, the, uh, the joint, the connection joint. So.